I think with every Mortal Kombat game that we start, we want to introduce something new, something different. There's been some advances that have been made, like facial animations and just quality of the art overall. We're getting into environments and stuff that we weren't just able to do in the past at this level of fidelity. One thing we want to do is freshen up the cadence of gameplay and stuff like that. And I think that's something that I think we really nailed with the new Crush and Blow feature. Kind of keeping these explosive, violent moments a little more random and, and a little more shocking to the player as you watch them. NetherRealm is becoming known for you know, attention to detail. Our characters are just incredibly realistic. We have on all of our characters, we have scanned faces. We have fully detailed tiling material system on all of our materials for all of our characters. That holds up both in gameplay and both in our cinematic moments. Gitan, Imperatrice dei Morti. MK11 picks up where MKX left off. Raiden had become Dark Race. It turns out he has disrupted the balance of good and evil in the universe that was desired by Kronika, a new character to the Mortal Kombat universe, who is the keeper of time and the architect of the destiny of the universe. First boss female character in any Mortal Kombat game, so we're really excited about that. Now that things have shifted irrevocably to the side of good, and so she has only one solution left, and that is to rewind time back to the beginning and restart it. One of the interesting aspects of MK11's story with the time folding is that you get to see so many interesting interactions between young and old versions of themselves. Il pensiero di diventare te mi disgusta. We really want to focus on customization this time around. There's this collection component of like you can collect all these different augments, you get to apply those things to gear, and you can use that to customize a ton of different gameplay stuff. Now we're giving players the ability to create their own variations, so it's almost almost infinite number of variations. As a player, you can get into the Towers of Time and you can start doing a lot of things. They're going to turn over, some are going to be hourly, some are going to be six hours, eight hours a day, some of them a week because they're going to take you a long time to get through. There's going to be a lot of different things to do. We really try to improve just the, the multiplayer experience. Players want to be matched up with somebody of comparable skill level. Everyone's always making progress, right? If you're playing competitively online, win or lose, you're making progress towards something that's going to make you better, more effective, right? You know, I think the biggest thing we always keep as a theme when we're starting with any of the games is the word fun. The first time you get the uh, like enhanced versions of specials feels awesome to me. And I've been working this for like 15, 18 years in Mortal Kombat. And that's still awesome to me when it happens. This game has a ton of content. <laughs> An absolute ton of content.